Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good days to all students. Okay, today we're going to continue uh, chapter 4, Intersection Design, focus on topic roundabout. Eh? Okay, for introductions. What is roundabout? Okay, it's, uh, in a modern uh, roundabout, it is an unsignalized circulation intersection engineered to maximize safety and minimize traffic delays. Over the last few decades, a uh, thousand of the roundabouts has been installed in Europe, Australia and other parts of the world. In the city and town where roundabouts have been built and even where the public has hesitated about accepting them initially, roundabouts ultimately have been accepted enthusiastically because of the Increased safety they provide along the traffic coming and aesthetically, uh, aesthetic benefit. Uh, it looks like uh, many people or user they can uh, accept and they have a good uh, in terms of the perception uh, about roundabout function or roundabout performance. Eh? Okay, why use a roundabout? Okay, first, of course, in terms of safety. Uh, also, roundabout can be part of the traffic coming uh, effect. Uh, low maintenance can reduce delay, uh, can increase the capacity, and of course, it looks like uh, in the good in terms of the uh, layout uh, has a value of aesthetic. Okay, why do roundabout have such good safety records? Okay, this the studies and previous study shows by. Insurance Institute of Highway Safety show roundabout provide 90% reduction in fatal crashes, 76% reduction in injury crashes, 30 to 40% reduction in pedestrian crashes, and the last 10% reduction in bicycle crashes. They give a lot of uh, significant impact eh, to increase or to enhance safety to all uh, to some uh, uh, priority to road users eh, especially for non-motorized uh, transport users eh. okay uh, conflict are reduces the roundabout have fewer conflict points in comparison to conventional intersections the potential for hazardous conflicts such as right angle and left turn head on crash is limited Elimin eliminated with the roundabout use okay this is the typical conflict i think we have discussed before uh, about this uh, conflicts number and pattern especially for cross intersection eh? so in cross intersection we do have about 32 eh? conflict among vehicles and 24 conflicts of, uh, 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 between vehicle to pedestrians but if we install or we use the roundabout, it gives very less and reduce significant in terms of the complete point. Eh? So you look, you look at these uh, illustrations. Okay, in roundabout, uh, in terms of the manual uh, traffic circulation, uh, it's only uh, create eight, eh? eight conflict to the vehicle to vehicle and it complete conflicts to pedestrian it gives huge uh, reduction in terms of the uh, conflict numbers eh, from cross uh, junction or cross road to roundabout okay speed are reduced and more consistent low absolute speed associated with the roundabout a lot driver more time to react potential conflict also helping to improve the safety performance of roundabout since most of road users travel at a similar speed through roundabout eh? because uh, obviously eh, uh, in roundabout operations most of the vehicle they tend to uh, drive at low or acceptable speed eh? we we never or very rare to see vehicle they speeding within the roundabout uh, operation or roundabout travel speed eh? okay pedestrian cross one direction of the traffic at a time eh? pedestrian need cross only cross one direction of the traffic 
at time it approach as they traverse roundabout as compared to two way or always stop control intersections eh? okay this conflict location vehicle and pedestrian are generally not affected by presence of roundabout although conflicting vehicle from a more defined path roundabout does the pedestrian have fewer place to check give a the for conflicting with vehicles eh? so this is quite obviously eh? because uh, the uh, roundabout uh, only one one direction eh? to, to look at eh? because the circulation consider one one direction eh? not uh, uh, oncoming or they have two uh, operational direction eh? okay uh, this uh, quite uh, interesting comparison now people uh, tend to see and the traffic circle is a roundabout. Perhaps it's not, eh? So now uh, I share with you about what the different uh, from roundabout compared to the traffic circle, eh? Okay, this one roundabout and traffic circle. Okay, roundabout entering vehicle yields. Okay, compared to traffic circle, they have stop sign, stop signal, giving priority to entering vehicles. Okay, a vehicle in roundabout have priority over entering vehicles. Traffic circle allow weaving areas to resolve uh, conflict movement. Eh? Okay, use deflection to uh, maintain low speed operations. Uh, some large circle provide straight path for higher speed. Okay, uh, in Arabah, there is no parking allowed. But traffic circle, central large traffic circle permit parking within the circle. Okay, pedestrian usually prohibit in the central islands. Uh, some large circle allow pedestrian to on uh, central islands. All vehicles circulate around the central island. Okay, mini traffic circle with left turn passing the left of the central island. That's the difference eh, between roundabout and traffic circle. Eh? Okay, these are the features detailed out about roundabout. Eh? So this is the geometric, eh, geometric layout. Okay, first they have circulation circulations area. Okay, uh, in the middle they have traffic uh, central islands. Okay, and also they have uh, splitter islands uh, to uh, divide from in entry lane to exit lane. Okay, they have also yield line. So there is no stop line, just a yield line because give way, give way operations. And so they have provide the sidewalk or side level to the pedestrians. So they have also uh, some opening eh, or crossing eh, to pedestrian and also the cyclist. Eh. Okay, design element at roundabout. Characteristic roundabout should have first uh, traffic controls, priority to circulating vehicles, pedestrian access, parking are not allowed, and direction of circulation. So the operation is uh, whenever any vehicle entering the circulation path. So they will be the priority eh? uh, so we have to give way or give time uh, until they going out or exit the uh, circular uh, way eh? circular path okay the other element uh, educate speed reductions uh, design vehicles entry flare and split the island so these are the animation eh? uh, how uh, operation of the roundabout eh? So almost give a signal when you enter, uh, no, almost give a signal when you try to uh, out eh, uh, or exit the roundabout and always give priority uh, those who have uh, travels in the circulation path. Eh. Okay, this is the typical drawing or typical example, a roundabout categories first, they have a mini roundabout without physical island, just a ghost or painted islands. This one is single lane roundabout in the rural area. Okay. Now they have uh, urban double lanes roundabout. Now they have double lane, eh? the previous one only single lane. Eh? So single lane in, single lane out. But this one they have double lane. Eh? So you see, inner, inner uh, travel lane and uh, outer travel lane. Eh? So they have a uh, uh, double lane to circulate eh? okay next what's the category of this on the board eh? so it looks like they have elevated highway eh? 
So this particular um, layout is not refer to roundabout, but the name is rotary interchanges, eh? Cause uh, they operated as interchanges, eh? Without give any uh, operation to a stop and, uh, and uh, the operation is like uh, other interchanges, eh? But the layout they use the round round circular and this oval circular right? or oval shape right okay uh this very interesting one eh? what are these actually eh? what are these eh? uh, if you like some weird eh? weird geometry or shape of the roundabout eh? so they have a uh, inner roundabout and they have large outer roundabout eh? what what actually eh? this kind of the uh, category of roundabout eh? So they call it magic roundabout. Actually, this kind of the roundabout is existing. Eh? Okay, this one, eh? magic roundabout in Swindon, England. So they have this one, eh? more than 50 years ago. They have already constructed this one. Eh? It's very interesting. Eh? So they have mini circular and the inner ring and outer ring. And they have many entrance eh? or many legged. Eh? Uh, entering this roundabout eh? if you want to see the real so i have downloaded eh, from the uh, from the youtube so i share the video now very interesting eh? magic roundabout eh? okay let's show this kind of uh, you know how videos. england likes to call some of its intersections circuses and it doesn't make any sense well here's one roundabout that actually deserves the title the even if it doesn't get it top, eh? Your first thought upon seeing Swindon's uh, so magic they, roundabout might uh, be, uh, man, uh, the Brits are really off the rockers lately. But this thing, which is actually seven roundabouts in one, has been working for 60 years. In a regular roundabout, traffic moves in one direction. In Swindon Circle, cars move both ways. Also, drivers can move from point A to point B without having to drive all the way around the circle. But they do have the option to use different routes to get to the same exit in order to avoid traffic. It may look chaotic, but it's actually pretty efficient because it means less fighting for space. You just point your vehicle toward where you want to go, yield to cars already in the midst of the magic, then Brexit on the other side. Many Americans may hate roundabouts, but they can actually cut serious crashes by 30%. Swindon says its roundabout has only seen one fatal crash in the past five years. So to celebrate a town anniversary, they paraded over 60 vintage cars through this feat of traffic engineering. Is this madness? Nope. It's Swindon. Okay, I think that's all to cover topic on roundabout. It's just a simple, we're not going to cover a detail or calculation on the roundabout. Eh? Uh, we just cover the concept, the benefit, and just get out of the roundabout. Okay, I think that's all uh, for this lesson. Okay, uh, we will continue for the next lesson uh, next time. Eh? Okay, until then, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, and good days to all. Thank you. Uh -huh.